<laughs> Should have been rolling tape when I was trying to get my dance on. I'm here. <laughs> hit the snooze button a couple times this morning. I have not hit the snooze button in a long, long time. And you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> I should have just gotten up. But it was a late night. Um, my son had a baseball game. They lost 17 to 16. And that was sad. Um, <laughs> long game. We didn't get back until like past 10. And my wife and I watched some shows. And <sighs> I hit the snooze button. You know the best thing about Friday night baseball? No Saturday baseball. I like going to the games. I do. But that was 17 to 16. Whew. I ran. 114 days of running. 5K was done. Uh, today, I typically answer questions. This is an easy one. Someone was like, did you finally get your mud water? And I did. Uh, this is the thing I always show you. That this little container. I get the bag now, see? So that finally arrived. They still don't have big logo. They should put that right across the top. That would look good. But um, I have it this morning. I'm enjoying it. And uh, what they are good at is some of this type of marketing. Um, the box that it comes in. <laughs> I, this, this totally, I geek out on this type of stuff. I'm gonna read it. Yes, I'm reading a box. Your morning ritual just got dirty. Mud water. You took the leap and signed up to get a box of mud delivered to your hut every month. But we both know I'm not just a box. It's the box talking to me. I'm a beautiful vessel tasked to shepherd a tin of mud safely to your door. And I did it. Whether you now use me to shim that table leg that is a hair too short or recycle me back to cardboard heaven. I want to thank you for being a part of the fam. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. And the box even has a smiley face. <laughs> that type of marketing, I love. <laughs> Making me laugh. We'll put you there. Man, we'll make the box. <clears throat> put it, I don't know. There it is. Oh, it's blocking the quarter of the day. So that was one question. So yes, I got my mud. Uh, it, yeah, you can always morning babble at brentevans.net. That's the website, brentevans.net. The other question, this is easy um, too. How's the drought? April alcohol drought. I'm gonna make it. It's, yeah, next Saturday is May 1st. That's crazy. Um, unfortunately, I haven't noticed any like earth shattering changes for me um I, I think i told you a couple days i was feeling great um unfortunately i haven't been feeling too hot lately because of uh, allergies and all the pollen that's out there you know my my orange jeep i i go out to it in the morning and now it's yellow because of horny flowers and trees all over the place <laughs> just yellow pollen thank you um but yeah the, the alcohol drought i don't know i never had a problem Okay, but um, I just, I guess health-wise, I wanted to see something different. I wanted to see if running every day, if I would notice a big difference. And no, I haven't. I, I, I lost like three more pounds, but I don't think it really had anything to do with that. We'll see, you know, because um, May 1st, I will have a beverage. May 2nd, I think we're going somewhere. I'll have a beverage. Um, we'll see. April alcohol drought though. I'm gonna make it May 1st is next Saturday. So that gets everyone up to speed. That answers some questions. Mud water. I thought I had something else. I don't know. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their Saturday so far. Here we go. A wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. Herbert Simon. He's a poli sci guy. Psychologist. It's a quote that I took from Stillness is the Key, Ryan Holiday book. I saw it in there. And I took it. All quotes are taken, right? Um, well, tomorrow I'll talk about books. 
I was peeking at this one. This is one I've read before, Rework. Um, wanted to talk about, this is before I did the tab thing. We'll see what I do. Enjoy your Saturday. I'll be back at you tomorrow when that goes to 1.15. See you then.